Do you like to code in Java? Do you know what Node.js is? If you are using Node.js, do you code in JavaScript? Probably. Would you prefer to control Node.js from Java? Well, let me show you how you can do it. So here is a sample project which actually imports uh, APIs from Node, but it's completely written in Java. And imagine that if you want to create a server, you actually type create in all code completion, select the method with a callback, and if you want to generate a callback, you actually invoke the code completion again. Rename the parameter to in and out, and then use the out parameter. And you want to end the request, and here you have options. You can use buffers, you can use strings, so let me use string, hello. Okay. So all these goodies of Java are immediately available to you while coding against Node.js APIs. So let me click this stuff and show you even more features. For example, debugging. So what if I put a breakpoint here? And if I and this is basically a Maven project, regular Maven project. So let's debug it. You start the project, you run the ID, and well, the breakpoint is it. And you can see, you can inspect the server, and you see the right type, but also that it's a JavaScript object coming from the Node.js implementation. So let's put a breakpoint here into the request and continue. Fine, okay, now we need somebody to connect to this port. So let's switch to a terminal and use curl HTTP localhost 880 hi there. Well, yeah, the breakpoint is hit. And we can inspect the values of the response uh, and the request objects. So we know the URL somebody is connecting to. Let's step over. Let's step over once again. Okay. And the connection is over. The reply has been generated. And we can continue. And we can connect once again. Okay. And that's it. So basically, the classical Node.js Hello World application written in Java. How is that possible? So it's time to reveal how that works. Okay, let me show you this. So first thing that you need is Node.js implementation based on Java Virtual Machine. And actually here is one. So type into your favorite search Graal OTM. OTM stands for Oracle Technology Network. And if you do that, you should see something like I do, which is Oracle Labs, GraalVM, Programming Languages. So it, the link will very likely take you to Oracle Technology Network, where you can actually read about what Graal is, and you can download it. So if you accept the license, you can download GraalVM. What is GraalVM? Well, it's regular Java virtual machine, but also spiced with JavaScript, Ruby, and R language implementations. So you can be a truly, truly polyglot programmer. So with that, if you have this Java virtual machine, you can actually start running Node.js applications on top of JVM and use the Java interface. Well, the other thing, let me switch back. The other thing are these libraries. So, net Java HTML lib, lib node package and sub packages. Where does this come from? Well, this is a project close to my heart uh, called DukeScript. And those guys managed to actually generate a lot of um, 
JavaScript or Java APIs for JavaScript libraries. And this is actually based on a, um, on a success of TypeScript. TypeScript basically offers a type view of JavaScript. And what the Duke script project did is actually created a way how you can take a TypeScript definition file, which describes a library, for example, Node, and convert that definition into Java APIs. So basically, there is a repository of hundreds, hundreds of typings. Basically, any JavaScript library has a typing. And you can take any of those typings and by using these simple commands, generate a typing, a, a Java API for that library. Uh, and this is done by using something called uh, Maven Typings plugin. So Maven Typings plugin, which you can basically insert into your POM file and convert that into Java APIs. And this is exactly what the Duke script guys did for um, for Node. So now we have APIs for Node core packages. So you can see HTTP, HTTPS, other other packages, and so on, and use basically all of them inside of Java. And if we combine this together with GraalVM, we get a system where you can run, use the Node.js runtime, but control it from Java and control it effectively because GraalVM is one of the fastest virtual machines on the planet. So thank you for listening and if you have questions please ask because there is way more to talk about and way more to explore. Enjoy GraalVM and enjoy Node on top of Java virtual machine possibly controlled from Java. Thank you for watching.